Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 16 on Fedora Linux operating system. I have connected to my Fedora OS. Let's verify whether this is Fedora or not. More slash etc OS hyphen release. See, I am on Fedora Linux. Okay, press Q to quit. Now open Firefox. Click on activities. Then click on show apps. If you are unable to find, just type here Firefox. See, we have the Firefox. Now go to official PostgreSQL site. That is PostgreSQL.org. This is the official website for the PostgreSQL. See here the message on 14th September 2023 PostgreSQL 16 release. Now click on this downloader, click on download. Both are same. Click on download. Then select Linux, then select the Linux distribution. Click on this Red Hat or Rocky Linux or CentOS. It is also same for the Fedora. Click on it. Scroll down. See, it is supported for these versions. Select the version here, then select the platform. See, the latest PostgreSQL 16 supports only on Fedora 37 or 38. Okay, ours is 38. Let's again verify. See, I have installed Fedora 38. Now, select the version. Once you selected the version, it has given the scripts to install PostgreSQL on Fedora. Next, copy and paste on the relevant parts of script. Okay, first copy this first command, which is going to which is going to install the repository RPM. Go to terminal. Right click and paste it. Hit enter. Provide the sudo user password. We have successfully installed RPM. Okay. Now we have to run the PostgreSQL server. Command is control L to clear the screen. sudo sudo dnf or m both are set but dnf then install postgresql hyphen postgresql 16 hyphen server verify the command c sudo dnf install hyphen y postgresql 16 okay fine you y y means it won't ask any confirmation it means it is auto approved Suppose if you want to install 15, just replace this 6 with 5. If you want to install 14, you have to give 4. Okay. But we are going to install latest PostgreSQL server. At the end, give this hyphen y plug and hit enter. See, we have successfully installed PostgreSQL. Next, we have to initiate the database by going to copy this command. I will keep all these commands or this link in the video description. Right click on paste. Control L to clear screen. Hit enter. It won't take much time. Initializing the database is success. Now we have to enable the PostgreSQL service. Before that, verify whether it's enabled or not. sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL hyphen 16. See, it is 
the service is disabled also it is not started first we are going to enable why we need to enable means whenever the linux server restarts then no need to start the postgresql service if we enable this postgresql service starts automatically to enable postgresql service run the command sudo sudo system ctl enable postgresql hyphen 16 hit enter see it has created sim link now verify whether this is enabled or not before it was disabled now we have enabled okay now but service is still stopped so start the service by running the command sudo sudo system ctl start then service name so service name is process equal hyphen 16 hit enter we have successfully started let's verify sudo system ctl status process equal hyphen 16 dot service see it is active we can also verify by running the sudo service process equal hyphen 16 status both are same see we got the same output okay it is started 42 seconds ago control it to create the screen now connect to postgres sql server by running sudo su hyphen postgres then run psql psql is the utility to connect to postgres sql server hit enter now verify this is psql shell version but not postgres sql server version so run the command select version what it will go see it has provided the version of the postgres sql server okay control l to create the screen now verify list of the databases forward slash and l see i have three databases one postgres template 0 and template 1 these three are the default databases comes with postgres equal server next verify the list of the users see i have only one user that is the default user which is super user first step is we have to reset the password for this super user control l to clear screen command is alter user then username username is postgres with password then in singular double quotes you password we have successfully set the password for the user postgres now create a database create database then provide the name of the database i am giving database name as arthroscopes we have successfully created let's verify that name from pg underscore database this is the view to check the list of the databases see we have created a database we can also get the list of the databases by using meta command that is slash l see we have the newly created database control l to clear the screen now create a user in postgres create user then username i am giving r2 admin this is the username with password then provide the password for this user we have created a user let's verify forward slash du see we have one more user added but this user is not the super user or and user doesn't have any of these privileges now connect to the new, newly created database forward slash c then give the database name i am giving database name as auto school which we have created now see the message you are now connected to the database auto schools as the user postgres okay now create a table in this database create table then provide the name of the table students then student number int student name s name where cap give the 20 put the semicolon at the end of the statement we have created a table now verify whether this table is created or not forward forward slash and dt see we have one table which we have created now if you want to find the data directory just give show data underscore direct see this is the data direct where all the process equal data stored if you want to find the hba con file just give show hba hba means host based authentication then file then semicolon see this is the hba file location if you want to find the 
process equal log directory just give show log underscore directory see this is the log directory now we are going to this data directory and see what are the files are there copy this file forward slash and q to quit from this psql shell copy this path cd and paste that one ls hyphen ltr see these are the list of the directories in data direct this is the configuration file if you want to check the version you have to run more and provide the file this pg underscore version see the version is 16 press q to quit ctrl l to clear the screen ls see these are the list of the direct this is the actual configuration file this is host to authentication file data resides in this base directory this is the wall directory or wall directory wall means right ahead logs okay so in this video we have seen how to install and configure postgresql server on fedora linux then we have seen how to connect to postgresql server then we have seen how to set the password for the user postgres okay then we have created a database then we have seen how to find the data directory and log files location for more postgresql server videos please subscribe my channel thank you